And Elizabeth's breast milk supply is no joke. This five foot long freezer is chocked full of her liquid gold and it's saving babies in desperate need one ounce at a time. Six times a day, every single day for three years, never a break. Put this one up here. And there have been tears because of this ball and chain known as a breast pump. Save all the milk, it's liquid gold for a reason. Uh, we work really hard for it. Elizabeth Anderson Sierra has hyperlactation syndrome. It means she makes three times as much milk as her daughters would ever drink. What is Sophia drinking? A mommy milk. Mommy's milk. So she's frozen it. This is your stash. My stash. Since day one, she's donated to milk banks, 937 gallons so far. It's given to premature and medically fragile babies or those whose mothers don't make enough and can't handle formula. Her husband is Puerto Rican and when Hurricane Maria hit in September, they heard stories of breast milk going bad without refrigeration, moms unable to find electricity to pump. Elizabeth packed up coolers full of her milk and sent it down to family to get distributed to babies in need. Soon she got word they found the perfect person. It had, had gone to a widower with a three-month-old son. He just turned three months. His name is Joaquin and he's, ador he's adorable. I want to just hug him. Joaquin was born a month premature. His mother died during childbirth right after the hurricane hit. Joaquin didn't have his mom's milk, he wasn't tolerating formula, and his dad had been using their life savings to fly breast milk in from donor banks here in the States. Now they have Elizabeth, who is ecstatic to help. Hopefully get his son to a year on breast milk. Um, I know that's what the mom would have done, I know that's what she would have wanted, and um, he's doing everything possible to fulfill her wishes. It's not easy mentally to keep it up, and it's not cheap either buying all the supplies, but it's a mother's gift to share what her daughters have with kids around the world. I love hearing these stories. I love seeing where my milk is going. I love getting pictures of babies drinking it. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely very rewarding, and it's definitely one thing that's helped you know, push me to continue. In Beaverton, Nina Melhoff, KGW News.